Hello and welcome back to another RV walkthrough. As usual, my name's Taylor Quayle. We're here at Padata RV Center in Tucson, Arizona. And today we're gonna check out a 2016 Coachman Concord 300DS. This is a double slide. It's on the Ford Super Duty chassis with that V10 Triton. I'm sorry, Super Duty E450 chassis with that V10 Triton. This is a full body paint coach. We're going to give it a full exterior interior look, see what it has to offer. So, since we're already at this corner, let's start here on the driver's side passenger or driver's side rear area of the coach. Both slides are located on the driver's side. Nothing on the passenger side. You got your first compartment right there. One of my small complaints is all your compartments on this side, they're hard to open with the slides out. So, you only got a couple compartments that actually have little holders, one of them being your dump station. If you can see, you also got some levelers down there too. 30 amp power service, unleaded fuel in there, portable water, outdoor shower, and a TV connection. Tires on this bad boy, Cooper Discoveries 225-75R16s as for a date code. I don't see one on this tire, so we'll check another. This does also have that Ride Right air, air assisted suspension on the rear here make it that much more comfortable and you got a nice big compartment there Look like some extra components in that compartment and then your generator 4,000 coming and owning I think it's got like 56 hours on it super super low hours I'll back up here for a second even though it is nice and bright with the Sun Gear driven slides, slide toppers on both of those. LED strip up above. Let's see if we can find a code on this tire. I think we will. 3720. So they're about coming up on three years old. So still good for a while. They look great. Lots of tread left. All right. So. That right there is side vision on here. And then you have an outdoor entertainment, 32 inch TV with some Furion speakers. Furion solar charger for an exterior solar panel. Got 20.3 gallons on that propane tank. And then a nice compartment. Full body paint looks really good. I don't see many issues on it. A couple scratches here and there. Kind of got to expect it. Mainly, yeah, you can see some around this water heater area. That is a six gallon. Now what do we have down there? Then we got the back of the furnace, back of the refrigerator. What is this? A uh, couple of 110s, maybe? A couple of 110s. And then this little rear compartment which I'll be honest isn't crazy usable just due to the size and the depth but you got another compartment now this right here I was having a hell of a time trying to figure out what it is so you got that and then you look under I think it goes straight to the spare tire to release it I think now normally I'd show you the roof but we got some work to do on the on the ladder here this thing came in broken, so we got a new piece on order, but I'm not looking to put my, my big butt up there. Breaking the ladder even worse than it already is. One of my favorite features, look at the size of this dang frameless window. It is huge. And then you got a little bit, I don't know, a little bit of scratches. They must've hit something that scratched the paint off there. Well, there you go, that's your exterior walkthrough. Why don't we jump on inside and see what that has to offer. One exterior step, two more steps in, batteries right there. Light controls, out, awning, disconnect. And see what you see right when we walk in. All right, so first off, let's start in the cab area. No overhead bunk, it is just a TV here with some storage. Oh man, I forgot to turn these lights on. Where the heck are those light controls? I'm not even gonna try to find them. 
And then a whole bunch of connections up there with all your remotes. A little multimedia device player there by Furion. And then it looks like we should have a couple speakers behind there. All right. 32,885.4 on the mileage. Other than that, it's an E-Series cab. Nothing really changes in these things. A little bit less leg space for the passenger. Backup camera, side vision cameras all on that screen. And then, down here, it's upside down, but it's got your hydraulic leveling jacks, which is kind of nice. You can see there is an auto level button on there too. One of the other options on this, you can see your kind of circular bases on the chairs. They are swivel seats. So you do have some swivelers in here. That is only a Ford option. That can happen with the Chevy chassis. All right, so let's flip her around and look at the first slide. First slide all the way down, couch and dinette in there. Now this couch, I can't remember what kind of sleeper it is. It's a jackknife and you can see, kind of, you can see some seat belts down there. Couch, it's a cloth couch. It looks to be in good condition. Maybe a couple little marks here and there, but not too bad. Cup holder pop up right there. of manuals and reading material in there. U-shaped dinette. Got a little bit of work to do on the dinette. The piece of like, you know, cloth molding, framing that goes here and then up and around did not come in with this coach. So if you're coming in to look at this, careful. You don't want to get your caps all jacked up by these screws. But this will turn into a sleeper. You can see that extra cushion there to help fill the void with the cushions on that dinette. The right side does have a nice storage, pretty deep. And then there is no storage up above the dinette, so just completely open. Nice big uh, window though, day night shades throughout. And we'll back it up here into your kitchen. There is a fireplace there, can be used for the ambiance or actually putting out heat. Look at that drawer, that's very deep. And then we got the rest of the kitchen to look at. But first off, since we're here, really quick, check out the printouts. $69,995, and there's some decent info. Specifications right there, highlighted all on the right side is Ford, and left side is Chevy. Floor plan. And then, here's your actual features and options list. This Concord 50th anniversary package was standard luxury package which this does have and then the standalone options that I was able to find all right so continuing on in the kitchen three drawers like that big space under the sink look at that and then right above that is the actual sink a couple basic plastic covers on this with light fan three burner stove top and then this is always funny expect to be the oven nope it's actually the convection microwave down below and then this bottom piece I got to remount it but it is really just an access port haha <laughs> I get to like them heater lines water lines whatever type of lines they got down there oh you son of a gun oh it's magnetic And then, just to the right of that, last but not least in the kitchen, is your Dometic fridge and freezer. This is a three-way. Breaker box down below, and then we got the hallway. Beginning of the hallway, you got your thermostat. You've got your slide controls, water heater looks like. We got a gas water heater and an electric water heater, tank heaters. 56.3 <laughs> hours on that generator, hardly anything. And then light controls. That door's the bathroom. That's got the shower right there. Look at that in a second, but let's look at the bedroom. So right in front of the bed, bed's also on a slide. You got a whole bunch of wardrobe storage and drawers. And then your queen bed, be a 60 by 75, maybe by 80, we'll double check with some overhead storage. Very, very similar to what we just saw in the dinette or above the couch. All right. 
right, and there is all your closet space. That's all the central vacuum stuff. And then over on the right, very, very similar size kind of closet. There's no additional drawers down below, and I think that's where that outdoor storage is, so that might be part of the reasoning. But look, you saw it from the outside, look at that window, it is massive. Um, and I can't remember, no storage under the bed. Right. You do have a little slider door here, it's it's pretty messed up, It's uh, the veneer finish on it is just peeling. Looks pretty bad, can't be redone, but Something to point out. Not too bad on the bedroom inside, but all right. Through that door, we got your bathroom. Gets a little tight in this hallway, so I'm trying to give you a decent view. Oh, decent storage. Little baby fan in here. There is also a fantastic fan in the bedroom, which was also an option. And then right behind us is the shower. Is that like an 18 inch by three pan, two by three, something like that. All right. And then last but not least, let's get these slides in. Give you an idea what this thing looks like while you're traveling. Be right back. All right. Front and rear slides are in. I did forget to point out, a nice little pop-up power management system here. But, your walkway, still there, still accessible. Fridge, it does hit a little bit, but not too bad. Nothing changes in the bathroom, and then the bedroom, oh uh, yeah, some changes. You lose the walkway up front, but that's about it. I forgot to point out, you also got a central bag system down there. So there you go, slides in, nice big window there. That's probably why they got that rear view mirror right there. You might actually be able to see all the way out. All right, and here it is from the outside with all the slides in. I appreciate you guys checking out this video. Hopefully it answered a question you had if you're looking at one of these specific units. This guy is currently for sale here in Tucson, Arizona at Padada RV Center. Once again, my name's Taylor Quayle. If you have any questions on this or want to inquire about purchasing it, you are welcome to contact me. I'll put all my contact info on the screen right now. Cell phone, email, all that good stuff. But yeah, thank you so much for viewing. Hopefully you enjoyed. Let me know if you have any suggestions for future videos. And I hope you guys have a great day.